Hi, my name is Richard Azariga from Microsoft, and this is the first of five patterns for connecting to SharePoint from an app for Office. So this first scenario we're going to look at uses what I call the explicit login approach. And in this scenario, we're going to actually build a login form inside our app for Office that will capture the user's credentials that we can set on the client context using CSOM. So this is my code behind, and you can see that I am establishing a client context given the site URL that our user enters in. My, my very next line is actually going to set the credentials explicitly for this user. So you can see here I'm setting the client.credentials, and I'm using the SharePoint Online Credentials class, where I pass in a username and password. Now, this is not a good pattern for a multi-tenant app. We really should never rely upon a third party to capture user credentials. That's what OAuth is for. We want really a, 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 a trusted source like Azure Active Directory or ADFS to really own that login process. But this might be something that is appropriate for a small internal application because it is very simple. I simply just set their credentials and I can immediately start using CSOM. So let's take a look at what this looks like when we run our app. So all the app scenarios we're going to go through are going to be very similar. We're going to go out uh, and connect to a list, uh, or actually to a site, select a list within that site, and then be able to pull in the data from that list. So in this case, the very first step is I'm going to log in. And again, this is our login form. It's not Office 365. It's not ADFS. It's our login form. And that's kind of the downside of this is we're actually capturing user credentials, even though we're a third party. So I'll go ahead and put in a site URL. I'll provide a username and a password. And once I sign in, we can set those client credentials on the client context and, and immediately start querying SharePoint. So in this case, I've gone and looked at all the lists in that site that I specified. So maybe what we want to do is look at the fleet list. And when I say get list data, we can go and do another query where we go get all the data for that list. And that's what you see here is we've gone and queried all the list data for the fleet list. So again, this is probably the most crude of all the scenarios, but it's the first of five where we use an explicit login to establish our connection to SharePoint.